Welcome into sports. I'm Brandon Gardner. Well, the Legion season is in full swing here in North Dakota with the 2024 BNC border battle kicking off in Mandan with a slate of four games. The Regina White Sox battling the Bismarck Gus in their second game of the day. Top of the second, 0-0 game. Chopper to Ben Watson at second. And he starts a slick 4-6-3 double play to get the governors out of the inning. Bottom of the frame, game still scoreless. Watson getting it done at the plate this time. Finding green grass in center field for an RBI single to give Bismarck the lead. Moving to the top of the fourth inning, bases loaded. William Corners hits it on the ground to left side and gets thrown out at first. But Liam George City will come in to score. And it's the Govs getting the win by a score of 11 to 1. Next, we move to a matchup between the Bismarck Governors and the SAS 5 Marlins. Govs up two in the top of the fourth and no one out in the inning. Lucas Viding ropes a leadoff double into right field corner and the Marlins threatening to close the gap. However, with the bases loaded in the same frame and one out, Bismarck double play duo turns 6-4-3 to get them out of the inning and keep the score at 2-0. Moving to the bottom of the fourth, Lucas Vazy finds an open field in that same right field corner for an RBI double. That drives home Tanner Gross close and makes the score 3-0 in favor of Bismarck. The Governors finish the day 2-0 with a 5-0 victory. For our final game of the first day in Mandan, it's the Saskatoon Cubs and the Mandan Chiefs. Top of the first, bases loaded. Trenton Coy takes one on the inside and off the elbow protector to allow the first run of the game to trot home and give the Cubs a 1-0 lead. Still top of one, bases still loaded. Ethan Forrest blasts the sacrifice fly near the warning track in the straightaway field, scoring Tyson Dell and stretching Saskatoon leads to two. With the Cubs racking up two runs in the first inning, it was Hudson Sheldon dropping the nasty breaking ball near the back foot of the hitter to get the Chiefs out of the inning. And it's Mandan getting this one by a final of 5-3. to three. Early in the day, the opener between the Vistas and White Sox. Starting in the top of the fifth, game still scoreless. White Sox trying to find some offense. Ty Winnicott hits a rope to right field for a one-out single. Moving to the bottom of the frame, still a 0-0 ball game. Vistas, Easton Panasuk pokes one past the middle infielders. One run comes in to score on an RBI single to give Minot a 1-0 lead. Two batters later, Kellen Burke with a deep drive to the opposite field. The play is made on the track, but Gannon Herbert tags up. He scores from third. And it's the Vistas opening the tournament with a shutout win, 6 to nothing. Moving on from the border battle to some Northwood leagues as Bismarck takes on the Minnesota Mud Puppies. Starting in the bottom of the first, scoreless game. It's Theo Bryan grounding it to the shortstop, but it's placed perfectly, and Bryan picks up the RBI on the infield single. Very next batter, score at one nothing. C.J. Richmond blasts one to the opposite field, and a base hit, which scores a runner from the second. Locks up 2 nothing early. We'll stick in the same inning. Still 2 nothing. Tyler Turner also goes opposite with a hard-hit single, and he'll pick up an RBI. Larks keep their foot on the gas pedal with an 8-2 win.